Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and we have reached the final episode of making a carving knife. Um, so this is the knife as it was from the last episode. Um, we've obviously, we've shaped it, we've handled it, um, we've heat treated and now all that's left to do is sharpen it. Um, and that's what I'm going to be doing today. Now I'm not going to bore you entirely with the entire sharpening process. You've seen me sharpen knives on this channel before and it all works in exactly the same way. Um, however, what I am going to do is kind of run you through it just very, very briefly. I'll kind of keep cutting and chopping as we move through the grades, um, just so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, now what I want you to do first of all, this is just a piece of um, a sort of a green stick. This is the knife as it stands at the moment. and. I'm struggling even to get the bark off. Um, now obviously it's a piece of metal so it will cut to a degree or at least scrape which is what it's doing now. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it a bit closer to the camera. So this is the, the wood underneath the bark and as you can see I'm putting a lot of pressure on here and I'm barely, very very barely scraping off a very very small piece of this stick. Um, and the reason I wanted to show you that because um, I kind of wanted to do a bit of a before and an after. Um, so essentially, this is where we're starting, and once I've moved through the sharpening process, hopefully this will be um, a nice, sharp, good quality carving knife. Um, now obviously only time will tell, but what I'll do, I'll bring the camera a bit closer in for you, and we'll make a start. Right then guys, well as usual I'm using my trusty water stones. Um, this is my combi stone, so we're starting off with a 250 grit. Um, this will probably take the most amount of time because there's still a little bit of material to remove from here. Um, then I'm going to move down to my 1000 um, and hopefully I shouldn't need much more than that. If needs be I can go on to a finer stone afterwards, uh, but I'm just going to kind of see how it goes. So essentially the same with any kind of knife, especially with something like this with a sort of a part scandy grind, um, is you lay it down onto your stone You'll roll it forward until the, um, the edge of the blade meets the stone. And what you're trying to do is just almost slice off a layer of the stone with the blade. Um, you know, almost sort of a very thin microscopic layer. Now, because this does need quite a lot of work, um, what you can do at this stage, if you, if you want to, there's no reason why not, you can kind of move it backwards and forwards as long as you maintain that angle um, and you, you know the, the ideal here is to use as much of the stone as possible so that you're not kind of wearing a, a patch in between so, you know if you're sitting there just just kind of doing this you're gonna you're gonna wear a small patch in your stone um, so I'm gonna spend a little bit of time on um, both sides um, I won't as I say I won't bore you on the camera so I'm gonna do both sides of this knife just start refining this down a little bit more and then I'll come back when I move over to the next stone Right then guys, so that was about 10 minutes on the 250 grit and I've just swapped over to the 1000. Um, now one thing that did become apparent very quickly is that my bevel is not 100% even. Um, what that's meant, and hopefully you can see that if I get the light right, um, is that I'm having to put in a very, very slight secondary bevel on this in order to get the sharpness. Um, now that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm hoping I can actually smooth that down later on to sort of blend it all in into one thing. But it's, what I've noticed is that the, the bevel here is not, um, it's not a flat bevel, it's slightly convex. Um, shouldn't affect the knife's performance, or hopefully not anyway. Um, but what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna spend another sort of five, 10 minutes on the, uh, the thousand grit. And now that I'm up to this, um, this sort of uh, fineness of stone. Um, I'm going to stop with the, the backwards and forwards and I'm just going to be doing one forward cut. And what you want to do with this is make sure that you're treating both sides of the blade equally. A bit like when you're sharpening any other knife. You don't want to do too much work on one side. Um, without doing the other to keep things even. And as I say, I'll probably carry on for about 10 minutes on this just to get it up to where I want it to be. Uh, and we'll come back when we're, uh, we're finished. Right then guys, so that's another 10 minutes on the 1000 grit and already this is feeling pretty sharp. 
Um, again, whether it's going to be as sharp as my other carving blades, only time's going to tell. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is move over to the strop. Um, now this has got a nice fresh coating of Smurf Poo, or Starkey Blue if that's what you know it as. And really all I want to do is just kind of finish off this blade. Um, now if I give you a bit of a close up, you know, it's uh, it's got some marks from the stones on there. I've sort of managed to fade in a little bit of that um, that secondary bevel, not entirely, um, but hopefully by using the uh, the strop here, it will just give us a little bit more um, of a sort of a nicer look. And obviously, it will take all those little microscopic burrs off, and it will just generally sort of slightly improve the edge. Now, again, if I show you the unstropped side first, get that in the right light, and then compare that to the side that I've just given a couple of strops to, already there's a noticeable difference. Um, and that's what we're looking for here. And I think I've said this before, but again, whenever you're stropping a blade, make sure you're uh, pulling the edge back away from the strop and not bringing the edge towards it, because all you're going to do is cut your leather. So there you go, guys. That's... Uh pretty much the stropping done and what I'll do let me move the camera a bit closer back out and we'll see how this actually cuts right then guys so here we are I'll give you a bit quick of a, a closer look of the knife close up in a little bit better light um, the edge isn't looking too bad it certainly feels sharp to my fingers at least um, and what I've done it's got another fresh bit of this uh, this green stick and just to start off we will take the bark off and straight away so much better I mean you can really feel that biting into the bark really really nicely Let's just take the rest of that off and moving on to the wood beneath it this is going to be the real test because this is this is a carving knife at the end of the day so if I give it a nice good cut it is a short knife so bear in mind I wouldn't normally use it for this kind of thing but you know you can see these are fairly clean cuts um, if I do a little bit of a close-up, I can get some really nice, sort of fine, so we bring that in close to the camera, I can get some really nice fine shavings off of this. You know, it's not the best knife in the world, I'll, I'll be honest. Um, and what I need to do is probably play around with my sharpening stones on this a little bit, just to get it where I want it to. But you know, there'd be no problem making a feather stick with this. Um, it's certainly okay for general carving purposes and I'm pretty sure that I can get this sharper than, than it is now. Now part of this is the fact that the bevel's not um, not flat which is what I wanted it to be but again this was all being done by hand and by eye. Um, so you know as a first attempt I'm pretty pleased with this um, and I'll certainly be playing around with it and using it for some of my carving videos in the future. Uh, but I hope it was useful guys, I've really enjoyed making this. Um, certainly recommend it to anybody who wants to give this a try themselves. It's a little bit of hard graft but um, you know, you're going to do get a very nice result at the end of it. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope it was useful. Uh, hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Uh, comments and questions in the box below. And I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks, guys.